And how many will be joining us for our moment of wedded bliss? Hundreds. We're, uh, hundreds. hundreds. We're expecting the whole town to be there. We're going to have uh, TV personalities and TV crews, of course. And, oh, and we're planning on having the people over at the Spalding Divisions to join the wedding. Really? Hundreds? Yeah. You're sure? Of course. Why wouldn't I be sure? I, I mean, they have to be there. Alan's the boss. Well, what I mean is, who would want to miss an Alan Spaulding wedding, well, right? I will need an exact number of guests when you can manage to separate the worthy from the unworthy. Just make enough food for, for like, 400 people and make sure it's the most expensive food that you can find. Annie, he has an excellent caterer. That yeah, he works I, I've with, heard all about I... his caterers and his pigs in the blanket. I want you to hire one of those famous French chefs to prepare the food, expensive food. And I want lots and lots of champagne, you know, the very old kind. Do they print the year on the champagne bottles? Yes. Of course. Old champagne, big labels. <laughs> you know what else I want? I can't begin to guess. You know what, what I want? I want ice sculptures. What? You know, oh, Alan, those what? swans. And oh, maybe they can carve an ice sculpture of Alan and me holding hands. Do you think they could do that? Mm, I yes, I could why mount not? it on a lovely little space heater. What do you think about birds? <laughs> I was thinking about having white doves fly off into the sunset. Ah, well, of course, with birds flying overhead, there wouldn't be any need to provide the guests with a parting gift, would there? <laughs> Are you making fun of me? No, 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 I would never do that. It's just that I was thinking along the lines of a more simply no, elegant No, wedding. no, no, I don't want simple. I want big, I want memorable, right, honey? Anything you want, darling. Okay, we'll come back to the ice and the birds. Why don't we discuss the dresses for the bridesmaids? How many will there be? Well, you know... This time of year, a lot of my closest friends, they, they go off to Europe to ski, so... And they left you behind. So they won't be there. Uh, Dinah Marler's in town, she'll be yes, in the wedding party. And then party we'll come up with four or five other of your friends, Annie, that's all. Uh, sure. Since I understand you have not yet made a final decision on your wedding dress, oh. I took the uh, liberty of selecting a few of my favorite designs to show oh, you. Yeah. All right, look at this. Oh, What is that? Beautiful. No, no. Is that a wedding what? dress? No. I, uh, oh, that's, that's just plain. Well, now what about this one? Oh, this... No, this simple... <sighs> No, 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 no. You don't like any? No, they're not even close, Mr. Corte. You're going to do, you're going to have to do better with your gift. Yeah, I'm sure you brought more to show Annie. I have shown her the best there is. Well, that's not good enough. Mr. Spaulding, these dresses, which are not good enough for your fiance, were good enough for two Kennedys, and a duchess. I told you before, I don't want simple. I don't want plain. I want spectacular. Yeah, spectacularly gaudy. Annie, could you be a little bit more specific? Sure, Mr. I'll be Maybe. specific for him. I want more options. Price is no object here. Well, I had hoped, I'm afraid, that good taste would be. I have uh, never in my what are you entire doing? artistic okay. career Where's been treated going? with such an utter lack Ellen. of respect. I can No, work no, you well. cannot walk out of me. Okay. I'm Well, this is typical. This is the story of our relationship, you know. You've never believed in me, never. No, I used to believe in you, Dinah. I used to yeah, believe... Yeah, but now you only believe the ridiculous stories that come out of your big-haired girlfriend's mouth. That's because you lie whenever the truth is a little inconvenient for you. You lied about the birth control pills, and you lied about the baby you borrowed. You lied, That Dinah. baby? Are you really going to throw that in my face? You laughed about that. You told me that you thought that was cute yeah, and was endearing. Cute. It was cute. It was cute. It was a lie. I have more lies. Hart, you backed me into a lot of those lies because you never accepted me for who I am. So, yes, I told some lies to, so that I wouldn't lose your love. Well, and you obviously don't understand what love is about, Dinah. And you crossed the line this time. You went a little bit too far. Do you... You scared, you scared Cassie half to death. Do you think that skipping out on your wedding day is crossing the line? Especially after you pushed for it for a whole year? What if we had the baby that you wanted so badly? What were you going to do? Leave me in, in the delivery room? Don't be ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Listen to you. You want to rewrite history. You want to act like nothing was really between us. You want to make it seem like I've been the bad guy all along and you've known it all along. Yes, you do. And so you go ahead. You tell everybody that, that you didn't really love me, that, that we didn't really get along, so we really didn't have a future together. You tell everybody that there was no us, but I'm not going to stick around and listen to it because I know the truth. No, no, I'm telling you, Dinah. Forget about us. <sighs> tell me you forgot about that. Are you going to tell me that you forgot all about that? 
Let it go, Dinah. I don't love you anymore. You hear that? I don't love you. I didn't come here to talk about our past. And that's all we have is a past. We don't have a present and we don't have a future. How can you be so cold to me? Because that's the only way I can get you to listen to me. We're finished, Diana. Do you hear that? Loud and clear. Good. And one more thing. I want you to make sure you leave Cassie alone. What if I don't, hmm? What are you gonna do, have me arrested? Throw me in jail? I don't really care, you know why? Because it's not much worse than being left at the altar and having my own mother No, 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 you did me. that yourself, sweetheart. You did that all by yourself. You had choices to make and you made them. You don't care who gets hurt as long as Dinah gets her do way. Do you think that I wanted my life to be this way? Do you think I chose this for myself, that I chose for my mother to leave me, that I chose for you to leave me? You know what, Dinah? Life is tough sometimes. Life can be really tough. And we all have sad stories that we can tell, but we don't use them to hurt other people. Oh, right, like Cassie. I bet Cassie would never do anything like that. This isn't right? about Cassie, Dinah. This is about you. And how you professed your undying love to me. Then you said to yourself, I can pull this off. I can make this jerk believe anything, right? He can fall for it. No, you're wrong, Hart. I was not saying that. I wasn't thinking that. But that's what you did, Dinah. That's, that's exactly what you did. I'm gonna tell you something. I don't want you screwing up my life anymore. Just stay away from me and stay away from Cassie. It's that simple. I don't want her looking behind her shoulder. She's not gonna live that way, and I'm not gonna live that way. And I gotta tell you something. I don't care what Annie tells you. This is not the way for you to live your life. Oh, don't even talk to me about my life. What do you care about my life? I just want to see you get some help, Dinah, before it's too late. Before you end up like Annie. Mr. Corte, I want you to listen to me. Now listen, I want you to understand my fiance. She has had a very hard year, a very hard life, as a matter of fact. And this wedding means everything to her. It's everything she has ever wanted. Well, I'm afraid that what she wants does not coincide with my vision. I don't think this is going to work. You see, Mr. Spaulding, I am first and foremost an artist. I am an artist of principle, an artist of... In Perhaps this will ease the pain of your bruised sensibility. Make sure Annie gets everything she's dreamed of, every single thing. Yes, of course, sir. My pleasure. Thank you. I scared him off, didn't I? No, you didn't, darling. Everything is going to be just fine. Now, you see, I understand artistic temperament. I merely had to remind him that your way is the best way. Yes, I just want our wedding to be special, that's all. It is going to be special, Annie. And we are going to be unstoppable. Not only in the boardroom, but in the bedroom you mean as well. The what? Lewis what? boardroom, right? Yes, where you're about to take your rightful place. Hey. What? Are you marrying me because of my stocks? <laughs> Annie, I gave you those stocks in the first place. Yes, you know I know, that. and I know exactly what to do with what? them. What? Josh and Reva are going to have to look at this face for the rest of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we got a really, really big can of bug spray. We already tried that. If Alan and Annie do get a seat on the Lewis Oil board, they're going to worm their way into our lives so far, we won't be able to get them out. Oh, well, I can tell you how pleasant that'll be. I am so tired of being afraid. I'm tired of wondering what she's going to do to us next. I want her out of the way. Okay, okay, well, let's go over what we already know about Miss Annie Dutton. Uh, she's an orphan. She has no living relatives to speak of. She was raised in Chicago, spent some time in Cincinnati, where she eventually...